In this lecture, we are going to learn what is the Google Assistant and how does it work. The Google Assistant allows you to ask questions to perform actions, like you can ask what's the weather like today or turn on my light bulb if you have Google devices. You can start with OK Google or touch and hold the home button on your Google Home or similar device and then you can start interacting with the Google Assistant. So for example, you can ask how much time is left on my oven. You can ask to play some music for a specific purpose. You can ask to see photos on your phone. And you can send text messages. So these are some examples of what you can do thanks to the Google Assistant. You can access the Google Assistant on your phone, on a home device like the Google Home or Google Nest, on a smart display, in your car, on your TV or laptop, on your watch, and more. For example, if you access the Google Assistant on your Android phone, you can touch and hold the home button on eligible Android phones or via the Google Assistant app on the App Store. So you can touch and hold, and then you can start interacting with the assistant, such as to manage tasks like sending a text, setting a reminder, turning on battery saver, or looking up emails. You can also interact with Google Assistant via a speaker by saying, hey Google, you can get help around the house, like for getting answers for different questions, asking for entertainment, planning your day, managing tasks, and controlling your home if you have devices. Another option for the Google Assistant is on a smart display. So if you have a smart display, you can interact with Google Assistant for all the same reasons. In your car, you can use Google Assistant, which is now integrated into Android Auto. So you need a compatible car or the Android Auto app and then you can get hands-free help. So again, same tasks and especially for navigation. If you have a TV, then you can use the Google Assistant on eligible TV devices by pressing the mic button on your remote to get started to manage your TV and perform other actions as well, like just talking to the assistant. The Google Assistant is available on laptops and tablets you can say, hey Google, or press the assistant key, and then you can perform all the same tasks as well. If you have a wearable device, like a Google smartwatch, then you can interact with the Google assistant, and more devices as well, where you can interact with the Google assistant are added over time. All right, so that is the Google assistant and where you can access it. For developers, there is documentation specifically at developers.google.com slash assistant. So this is a great place for developers to learn what they can do with the Google Assistant. Actions on Google will use heavily in the course, which is the developer platform for Google Assistant. As a developer for the Google Assistant, you can integrate with the Google Assistant in your apps or websites. For example, you can voice enable your Android app so your users can access your app via their voice. You can build rich and natural conversations. You can enhance your web presence. And you can connect smart home devices like letting users control a light hands-free. So for Android developers, if you build Android apps, then you can allow users to jump into your app using their voice with an integration with Google Assistant. You can use app actions to provide faster access to your app content. You can build custom voice and visual experiences for smart speakers, displays, and phones with the Actions SDK and the interactive Canvas. You can build games and experiences rendered directly in Assistant. So you can build interactive games with Interactive Canvas, a framework built on Google Assistant. 
right? So you can have a visual experience as well as a conversational action. So you can have a web app that is interactive. This is available on smart displays and Android mobile devices. All right, so that is just one example of building out a web app for the interactive canvas, where you can just configure your web app with Google Assistant via some recommended libraries and APIs. You can also build games for the Google Assistant. All right, so you can have voice enabled games for smart displays. You can enhance your web presence for Google Search and Google Assistant. So you can build your website and integrate in Google Search and Google Assistant. You can connect your smart home devices so users can control lights, doors, machines, and more with the Smart Home API and the Local Home SDK. And more is being added over time. So the documentation for Google developers for the Assistant is a great place to check out. If you liked this video, then go to training.mammothinteractive.com. We have tons more content on blockchain, web development, machine learning, and much more. We also have a membership for just $19 a month where you can get access to our 372 course bundle and counting.